So I'm Peter Duffy. Uh, I am the CTO uh, at Sumerian. Um, Sumerian has been around for almost 15 years. Um, uh, we launched in 2002, uh, and I've been there for almost 15 years from pretty much when we launched. Uh, so Sumerian was uh, was launched as an analytics company, um, probably before the term analytics uh, was even uh, commonplace. Um, we launched with the intention of taking data from IT systems and using that data to give the business uh, users of that data an understanding of how their business connected to the IT. And we've been doing that for 15 years. Uh, so at Sumerian, um, our key product is called CPaaS, Capacity Planning uh, as a Service. Uh, and what CPaaS does is it applies a big data and analytics approach to the problems of capacity planning. And those are problems of understanding how much resource do I need to deliver a service at the right price point and, and the right performance point? Uh, where am I running out of resources and I might have to add some more? Where do I have problems developing because of the consumption of those resources so that I can take action to um, prevent those problems? And crucially, if I, if I want to make changes in my business, if I'm expecting a seasonal peak um, in demand or if I want to onboard new users or applications, how much more resource do I have to, to add to uh, deliver that business result? That's what we do. For about the first 11 or 12 years of that, sort of um, 15 years, we worked primarily as a services company. So, so um, our staff consisted of data scientists, PhDs, stats experts, all that sort of stuff. Um, and we used those guys um, wrapped around the technology platform that we were building to answer questions for customers. And those questions um, ranged from, you know, for a large financial company, um, how do I optimize my month-end batch processing because right now it's taking the entire weekend and that's not good enough, to um, how do I improve the speed of my electronic FX because right now it's taking 10 milliseconds to get quotes out to market and that's not good enough. Um, to how much capacity do I need to add if I want to become you know, in the top three um, of the equities uh, market um, in terms of volume. So we did that for about 12 years. And then about three years ago, we decided that we wanted to take some of that IP and wrap that up in a product and take that to market as a product. And that, that's when Capacity Planning as a Service was born. So we've taken that to market as a software as a service product. It's a really interesting one because, I mean, I guess, so if, if you look at big data uh, and how people characterise that, so, so Gartner talk about um, volume, velocity and variety of data when they look at big data. So volume, how big really, how much data actually is there? Uh, velocity, how quickly is it arriving? And variety, how many different types of data do you have to deal with? Now, one of the challenges that comes when you try to apply that to capacity planning um, is, bizarrely enough, the capacity of the capacity planning system. So if you want to do capacity planning, you really have to understand what's the long-term behaviour of your infrastructure and your applications. And that means you have to collect that you know, application and infrastructure data over a long period of time. You have to find somewhere to store it, and you have to have the right statistical approaches um, to analyse that. And so one of the big decisions that we took early in our um, evolution was to say, let's not ask our customers to do that on their own premises, because that gives them the challenge of having to provision the capacity for the capacity planning system. And we said, we wouldn't do that. We'll bring that into the cloud and so we'll do it ourselves and take away that problem for you. And then we apply all of this sort of big data, machine learning, statistical algorithms to that data to discover those trends, extrapolate those patterns, find those relationships that tell you for every 500 users you add, you need to have 10% more compute time and 50 gigabytes of data space and so on. Um, so, so I guess one of the biggest things that we've seen in the in interest in the capacity planning space emerging over the past sort of three to five years um, is that rather than people looking purely at infrastructure, which is you know how much compute, how much database, and so on, they really want to be able to connect that to the business volumes. So, so right now, um, someone in the business says, I want to add you know a thousand users to my internet banking um, application. And the technology guys say, we've got 50% CPU headroom. And, and those are completely different conversations. They just don't meet. So one of the really interesting things that we've rolled out into our product in the, in the last quarter is the ability to join those together. So the two teams together can say, we have you know, 100 users of type A and 50 users of type B arriving on this system. 
what is their footprint going to be in that system? And then they can use that to figure out how much more resource they need to provision. And then they can go further on that and say, okay, well, let's take our business plan. And our business plan involves this number of users arriving every month over the coming 12 months. They can lay that out in a timeline and they can say, this is the resource that we need at each stage of that journey. And that's what we think is going to be very, very powerful for our customers um, over the coming sort of 12, 18 months.